Hello, and welcome to the Aviation Weather Center website. The website is designed around the Graphical Forecast for Aviation, or GFA, to utilize an interactive map providing weather information across U.S. airspace. A new feature includes a cross-section of a specific flight route. In this video, you will learn how to use the cross-section tool and draw a flight path on the map. To open the cross-section tool, select the route icon with an arrow connecting two dots from the right-hand side of the screen. A dialog box will open where you can enter the route you wish to get information for. Enter the route in the top box using airports, lat longs, fixes, or VORs, separated by commas or periods. To view the flight route on the map, select Draw Path. This will show a pink line along your route. To view the cross section, select Cross Section instead or reopen the dialog box. Select which variable you would like to view on the second line. Note that you cannot select a variable if a route is not declared. You can lower the top altitude of the cross section to the heights you fly by changing the drop down next to top. This will adjust the vertical labels along the left side of the cross section. The waypoints are labeled along the bottom with the legend for the variable you're looking at below that. The time slider along the bottom of the screen or arrows on a mobile device can be moved forward on any of the forecast tabs to view forecasted weather conditions. The time label at the top right will describe what time you're looking at with the current time first and forecast hour following. Continue to change between variables and times to get a full picture of the weather for your flight. Once you're done looking at the route, clear the cross section and flight path from your map by clicking the X next to the route. I hope this video helps explain how to use the cross section tool. For more information, go to the help page by clicking on the question mark at the top right. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know by using the envelope icon at the top left or in the hamburger dropdown on a mobile device.